Hello, and today we're talking about preconception testing. Do you know what that is? The first time I intro got introduced to it is because I was part of this pitch competition with Mooshwalks, and I met a woman there who started a company called Preconception Testing. And um, I was just like, it makes sense, but it doesn't really make sense until I started trying to conceive and I was unsuccessful for about nine months trying to conceive naturally. And then we did our first fertility treatment, which was IUI, which was also unsuccessful. And at which point I took it upon myself. My doctors didn't really advise me to do this, but I thought, you know what? What is this whole thing about preconception testing? So I reached out to a friend of mine who started this company and I said, what would you recommend? And she said, there's this company called Get Poplin, um, which I'll link below if you guys want to see exactly what they were testing for. Um, you can get started on that. So that was my next step to do before we spent all this money on IVF. I wanted to do preconception testing to see whether or not my body is ready to conceive, period. So what this testing do, they test for about 68 different biomarkers. They test for autoimmunity, insulin resistance, uh, thyroid functioning, um, vitamin deficiencies, uh, stress hormones, all the cortisol levels, like all these things that you don't really think about that are big factors in your fertility journey, but they are. So after doing that test, testing all the 68 different things, I learned that everything was good except my vitamin D was really low and my B12 was really low. Vitamin D is responsible to making sure your body is functioning properly, fighting off any potential disease that might be starting and so on. A lot of times in women, when we're vitamin D deficient, um, we will not get pregnant. Uh, it, and if we do get pregnant, a lot of times we might miscarry. So vitamin D is very important for fertility and my was so, so low. So I, the first thing I did before I dive into IVF or anything else, I upped my dose of vitamin D. I went from 2,000 international units a day to 10,000 uh, for a couple of weeks. Then I tested again to see if my levels leveled out. Once they got a little better, I switched myself to 5,000 international units and I just kept on monitoring, make sure my vitamin D is in great shape. And then B12 deficiency also responsible for fetal development and very important vitamin to have at the highest level possible when you're trying to conceive. Especially when you're trying to conceive, they want you to be at the higher B12 level than you normally would if you're not trying to conceive. So I've learned again a lot and I wish this is the kind of test I did before I did everything else. But hey, sometimes you just go on the journey and you learn as you go and that's what happened with me. So if I would um, advise anyone to do anything differently, it would be to do this test first, make sure your body is in great condition and then you start testing all these other fertility related things. Um, so today's question is, have you done this testing? Do you know what that is? Have you heard of it? Uh, let me know in the comments below and this kind of like gives me more time to prep my body for the next step and um, that's what I did. <laughs> let me know if you have any other questions. Uh, this is my journey so far. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Oosh. Bye.